Hello, I hope you are doing well. In this videos we will discuss the long-term performance of leveraged ETFs, particularly focusing on how investors would fare using different leverage levels on the S&P 500. Here's a breakdown and analysis. Key points. 1. Leverage of 3x. The study by double-digit numerics simulated a 3x leverage on the S&P 500 from 1950 to 2009. This strategy would have resulted in a compound annual growth rate, CAGR, of 14%. This is much higher than the 7% CAGR an investor would have earned with a traditional, unleveraged, 1x, investment. 2. Leverage of 2x. When using a 2x leverage, the study found that the CAGR would be 12%. This is lower than the 14% achieved with 3x leverage but still significantly higher than the 7% from a standard investment. However, the 2x leveraged strategy underperformed the 3x leveraged strategy by about 200 basis points, 2%. 3. Challenges of higher leverage. Despite the higher returns associated with leverage, there is a diminishing return with excessive leverage. The image suggests that when leverage levels increase, e.g., 4x or higher, the returns start to decline because of the daily resetting nature of leveraged ETFs. This daily resetting introduces a phenomenon known as volatility drag, where the compounding of gains and losses over time can reduce overall performance, especially during volatile periods. 4. Diminishing returns with high leverage. The image indicates that using a leverage ratio of 4x actually results in worse performance compared to using leverage ratios of 2x or 3x. This is because of the compounding effects that erode value in highly leveraged products over time. Analysis. Leverage amplifies both gains and losses. Leveraged ETFs provide amplified exposure to the underlying index, which means that while gains can be substantial in a bull market, losses can also accumulate more rapidly during market downturns or periods of high volatility. Optimal leverage level. The data implies that moderate leverage, such as 2x or 3x, can provide enhanced returns over the long term, but increasing leverage beyond this can lead to diminishing returns or even losses. The optimal leverage depends on the investor's risk tolerance and time horizon. Volatility drag. One of the critical issues with high leverage is the effect of volatility. Leveraged ETFs reset daily, which means that their performance over longer periods can deviate from the expected multiple of the underlying index. This is especially true in volatile markets where frequent ups and downs can significantly reduce returns. Conclusion. For long-term investors considering leveraged ETFs, the study by double-digit numerics suggests that moderate leverage, 2x or 3x, can provide enhanced returns over time, but pushing leverage too high, e.g., 4x or more, may lead to underperformance due to the compounding effects of volatility. Investors should also be mindful of the daily resetting nature of leveraged ETFs, which can distort long-term performance. Careful consideration of risk, market conditions, and time horizon is crucial when using leveraged products. Isn't leverage borrowing money? Leveraged ETFs use debt or derivatives to hit their performance targets. The important distinction is this debt is held by the ETF and not by you, the investor, personally. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe if you haven't done it already.